a popular way to dismiss the Bible is to say there's no evidence. There's no evidence. Well, there's all kinds of evidence. But on one of the biggest stories of the Bible, Moses and the Exodus and Mount Sinai, there is no evidence. However, we have found now that there is evidence and it is being protected by the Saudis. And you're not allowed to see it. You're not allowed to go there. It's protected by a fence. The locals call it Mount Sinai, the mountain of Moses. It has all of the markings from the Red Sea if you just follow the directions in the Bible to the mountain and you see all of the things that are said to be seen in the Bible and it's not, well, I guess that could be. No, no, no. It's clearly that. So this is either an elaborate, ancient, I don't know, hoax or Disneyland uh, for, you know, travelers to come and say, hey, look, and this is the mountain of Moses right here, (laughs) right here. And Walt Disney is, you know, be, yeah. b- b- making audio anatronic uh, calves. <laughs> it's good for a tourism board, right? <laughs> Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, or this, I- there's something to this. Ryan Morrow is uh, the director of the Clarion Intelligence Network. I want to give you the video that you can go and see this. It's Sinai in Arabia. S-I-N-A-I in Arabia. Sinai in Arabia.com. Go there now and just look at the footage. It is stunning that you've never heard of this. Uh, Ryan, I, this is, it's interesting looking at this because I think what you've put together is a really interesting theory with a lot of evidence. And you kind of point this out a couple of times in, in, in the piece where you're saying, like, we, don't ha- we don't know for sure about all this stuff, this is, but it all fits. What is the level of acceptance when it comes to the church and and, and religious uh, experts Scholars. and historians? Like, do they believe this is plausible? Do they believe this is re- is reality, or is this something you kind of just came up with on your own and you're kind of s- want to see how they react? <laughs> uh, no, I mean I'm not even the first person to to go right. to the mountain, and so the theory's been out for a few a few decades. Um, but it, I think it is gaining more mainstream acceptance. There are some scholars who have said it's possible or likely. They obviously wouldn't want to commit 100%. Uh, you do come across uh, the problem of conventional thinking and uh, people with credentials being taught a certain way, and so they just stick to the traditional mm-hmm. site. But then those same people will almost always admit that there's no evidence at the traditional site. So I think the problem is, is that people just don't know everything that's there. Um, and of those that I talk to, once they understand what's there, they say, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of got to be it. Um, uh, one thing I'd add is that this actually is separate from Clarion Project, where I work, just so, just so that I'm, uh, I keep my bosses happy. Um, so this was an independent project. Um, but speaking to the earlier point uh, about people not knowing about this, that's why I think this, even this radio segment right now could be a historical moment, because the ramifications of this are just massive on on a personal level and even geopolitically. And so I encourage people to go to Sinai in Arabia dot com um, and hopefully the Blaze um, social media accounts can also send out the direct link to the YouTube video um, that you can search uh, called Finding the Mountain of Moses that just went live. And I hope people watch it uh, on Christmas with their families and with their churches, um, because uh, I think for a lot of people, um, especially including myself, it really brought me to a whole new level of confidence in my faith, but also understanding of my faith, and that you can't put a price on. 